I am Dr. Prashant Chain, uh, Consultant Orthopedic Surgeon, practicing at Pons and Joints, JP Nagar, 5th Phase, Bangalore. Well, the fractures in children are very different from that of fractures in adults and this is because of the physiology of the bone. The periosteum which is very thick covering the bone in children is the one which prevents any sort of fractures in children because it gives that amount of extra stability to the bone and the bones are rich in fibrous tissues and therefore they have that much extra amount of plasticity so that they can take the load of any fall or injury by bending forwards. The different types of fractures which are more common in children are green stick fractures, torus fractures or bucket handle fractures and Salter Harris types of fractures. Salter Harris type of fractures are the fractures which involve the growth plate and they are classified from type 1 to type 5 with type 1 being the least severe and type 5 being most severe and may even lead to deformity in further growth of the bone. The green stick fractures are basically the fractures of one cortex of the bone and that is because of the excess amount of periosteum which prevents the other end of fracture from being broken. The torus fractures or the bucket handle fractures are the fractures which are seen mostly around the lower end of radius or lower end of tibia and they can be managed by simple splinting for 3 to 4 weeks and the patient recovers very well. The important things to be seen in fractures of children is the injury to the growth plate and then treat it accordingly. The most common sites in children which can get fractured are the elbow, the lower end of radius, the forearm, the tibia, the femur very occasionally and very very rarely the neck of femur.